Glory to God. I am thrilled to be able to bring you another podcast of the prodigal son. My prayers for you come out of Ephesians 1.15. These are Paul's prayers for the Ephesians, but I've adopted them for every person that walks the face of this earth, that they could come to understand just how much God loves them, just how good he is. And that's what we're going to talk about today, that God is good. Give him praise. But first, Ephesians 1.15 says, Ever since I first heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope He has given to those He called, His holy people, who are His rich and glorious inheritance. I also pray that you will understand the incredible greatness of God's power for us who believe Him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead and seated Him in the place of honor at God's right hand in the heavenly realms. Now He is far above any ruler, or authority, or power, or leader, or anything else, not only in this world, but also in the world to come. God has put all things under the authority of Christ, and has made Him head over all things for the benefit of the church. And the church is His body. It is made full and complete by Christ, who fills all things everywhere with Himself. Ephesians 3.14 says, When I think of all this, I fall to my knees and pray to the Father, the Creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong, and you may have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God who is able, through His mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Glory to Him in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God today that He has opened my eyes to His love, and that is my prayer for you, that He opens yours, opens your eyes to just how much He loves you, just how good that God is. Oh, I thank you, Lord, and I praise you, God, for your word. Guide me, use me, touch my mind, touch my mouth. Help me be the light, Lord, the vessel that you can speak through today. And I'll give you all the praise and the glory for it all. In Jesus' holy name I pray, amen. I'm going to be taking my scriptures today out of Psalms 136. And the first verse, it says, O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for He is good. And His mercy endures forever. I want to look at that in the King James, or in the New Living. That was the King James. It says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Glory to God. Let's see what the Amplified Version said. The Amplified Classic Version said, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. For His mercy and loving kindness endure forever. That's what I want to talk to you about today, that God is good. You know, yesterday we were, we were talking about, you know, giving Him praise, giving Him praise. And that's what I want you to see and understand today, that you can give Him praise. We should give Him praise because He's good to us. You know, religion, religion says that He's a tyrant. Religion has painted a picture of God that He is a tyrant and, and can't be pleased. I assure you that's not God. If, if there's anything that you come to understand listening to these podcasts is that God is good. And His mercy, His mercy, His grace, like we talked about yesterday, oh, it's far beyond any human understanding. And I want you to see and understand this, 
I want you to see and understand that God is for you. In this time that we're living in, this, this uncertain time that the world is living in, you know, we talked about it the other day about, you know, the world's in, in uncertainty. But as Christians, we can stand up and be certain in where we stand. And that is, God has got our back. You know, yesterday I was talking about He'd, he'd have you back. And Isaiah 52, 12, I put that in the Scripture. I didn't talk about it yesterday, but I put it in the notes for the podcast yesterday. It says, well, just let me read it. I, I read it quite often, I, and I want you to, uh, to get the gist of it. Let me get my, my Bible to come back up on my iPad. But it talks about, Isaiah 52, 12 talks about that, that the Lord will go before you. And, 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 and I like to say, and make a way. He'll, he'll, he'll make the way. But then He'll come right back around behind you and 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 the King James version says, "Be your rear ward," but other translations says, "Be your rear guard." And he said, and, I, and and what I get out of that scripture is that 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 God will go before you. He will go before you and make a way that you can travel on, and then He'll watch your back as you do exactly what He has guided you to do. The King James Version says, For ye shall not go out with haste, nor by flight, for the God, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear ward. Now let's look at the uh, New English Version, or the English Standard Version of that, that Scripture. It says, For ye shall not go out in haste, and ye shall not go in flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your rear guard. So that verse tells me that God's going to make a way for us, and then He's going to He's going to make sure He's going to make sure and watch our back. That's how good God is. God's not going to send you out in this world by yourself. He don't want you out there by yourself. I want you to understand this. That's what, that's what we, we need to be giving Him praise for, that He never leaves us nor forsakes us. The Lord says that. He wants you to see that. He, the, the Lord came and died. Jesus Christ came and died for our sins. He went to all the pain and the anguish and the, the distraught. Um, you know, I was I was listening to uh, Brother Rick Renner yesterday. Some of his Easter messages that he had uh, sent me an email over, and and I was listening at all that Jesus went through crucifixion and and how hard it is on people, and and just just what Jesus endured for us is just un, unreal. Yeah, I mean it is indescribable I guess what you would say I just I can't put it in words how Jesus suffered 2 Corinthians 5 21 says that he was made to be sin not only did he pay for our sin but he was made to be sin for us that we might be the righteousness of God in him he was made to be sin that's how good he is he took, took upon himself our sin and suffered and died a sinner's death as a sacrifice, a perfect sacrifice before God for each and every person that walks the face of this earth. And the only thing that we have to do is confess him as Lord and believe, believe that God raised him from the dead to justify us. And we can be born again. Aren't you thrilled to know that? Aren't you thrilled to know that God is that good, that merciful? The Lord is good, and his mercies endures forever. You say, well, how is that? How is, how is God so merciful Yet the, there is people that, that goes to hell every, if they're not born into the family of God. 
He's given us all an opportunity to be born again. Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins. And God has given us an opportunity to accept Him as our personal Savior. That's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. And, and He has set that plan in action and set it in motion. And all we have to do is accept Him. So is it really God that's sending people to hell? Or is it the own, their own people by, by uh, refusing to, to accept His plan? You know, I, I heard uh, Brother Keith Moore talk about it. Talked about, you know, he's talking about a, a pilot that, that was working with him and, and uh, said he was talking to him and the pilot smoked. And he, he was real, he said he was, you know, was really condemned and shamed, shamed because he did smoke. It bothered him. And uh, Brother Keith, is, he's got to be a very, uh, very nice man, a very uh, humble man, because he told that pilot, said they were standing in a, in a uh, uh, elevator going to their rooms, and, and said that pilot, you know, he, he told, turned and talked to that pilot, and he told him, he said, you know, smoking's not going to send you to hell. He said, drinking, you know, all the things that, that we call sin is not going to send you to hell. He said, do you know what the only thing that's going to send you to hell is? And that is to refuse to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. That's the only sin that will send you to hell. Now that's something. That's something. But that's the goodness of God. And when I look back at Luke 15, you know, I, I've referenced that a lot, but when you look back, all the Father wanted was for, for the Son to repent. He didn't want Him groveling at His feet. He didn't want Him paying for what He had wasted. All He wanted was repentance. And when He repented, He, I mean, before He repented, the Bible says that the Father ran to Him. You know, I've told you this before, but a Jewish man does not run. That's against their, their, uh, their tradition. They do not run. But yet it depicts the father in, the, in Luke 15 as seeing his son and, at a distance and running and falling on his neck and kissing him and embracing him. And, and when the son repented, then, then the, the father turned and told the servant, said, go get the best robe. Don't go get a rag. Go get the best robe and put on him. He restored him. Put shoes on his feet, a ring on his finger, indicating that he was part of that family. Tell, letting the world know, along with the young man, that he was part of that family. See, that's what God wants to do for you. That's how good God is. No matter what you've done, no matter the mistakes you have made, no matter what sins that you have committed, God wants you to know that He loves you and He cares for you and He's good and He wants to be, make you part of His family. You may say, well, I've been born again, but I've done so much, I don't know that God can forgive me. Don't believe that lie ever again. God's waiting on you to turn to Him waiting on you to turn to Him. Accept Him as your personal Savior. If you've been born again, confess your sins. Repent of your sins. And, and He is faithful and just to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. That's what God wants to do in your life. And then He wants to be just that, that guide and that help and that, that, uh, oh, that, that shepherd of your life. And how's he, you say, well, how's he going to shepherd me? He's going to shepherd, shepherd you through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, through the guidance of His Spirit, through His Word. Because His Word was written for us to live life by and to find out the tough answers that, that the, world, the, the world that uh, throws at us, throws stuff at us, and, and we don't understand the 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 question or the answer don't know where to find the answer i promise you you'll find every answer to every question that you are having in this world today you'll find it in the word of god 
if you'll ask the 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 Lord to show you and and ask the Holy Spirit to guide you through His Word. I've talked about it over and over and over again. An illustration that I used of a old coffee pot that sat on the on the burner all day long and 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 had you know just got about a quarter of a, a pot of coffee in it and it's just sat there and cooked and got black and strong and and just you know just very strong and that represents the sin in your life. But you can take that coffee pot out and sit it in the sink and just start a little stream of water in it, even a drip. And over time, what does that do? That water will dilute that that old coffee and wash it clean, wash it out of that coffee pot clean, clear as a bell over time. And that water represents the Word, the Word, the Word that want, that God wants to cleanse you with. See, he, He's made it all possible, all possible for us to, to, to live a victorious Christian life, a strong Christian life. But we've got to get in a place where we can, we can know what to do and when to do it. And how do you know? You know through the indwelling of the Holy Spirit's guidance, and He's going to guide you with God's Word. So the more words you get into your, into your heart and in your life, the, 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 the more that that Word will wash all the world out of you. And then, then when a circumstance comes up that you need an answer, the Holy Spirit's got something to work with. You say, how's that? Because you've hidden, that, you've hidden God's Word in your heart. And, and, and that Word, He can, he can dr- draw on that Word and give you the answer to what you need to be doing. Do you see? That's how good God is. That's how much God wants to be part of your life and help you. He, want, he don't want you to suffer one minute. I promise you that. He don't want you struggling one minute. But you first have to be born again. Romans 10 and 9 said, If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus... And shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. It says, For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. That's all it takes to be born again. Make Jesus Lord of your life. If 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 you're away if you if he is Lord of your life, he is your personal Savior, but you're away from him, confess your sins, repent of them. He's faithful and just to cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Come to Him the way the, 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 the prodigal son did and watch Him restore you. Restore you. He loves you. God is good. Give Him praise. God is for you. He wants you to succeed in every aspect of life. And I pray that this world today understands that, just how good God is. And God is out there trying His best to help this world. I pray that they allow Him to help them today. Make Jesus Christ Lord of your life today so He can help you. Glory to God. Hey, if you're listening to this podcast, go to our website. Get in touch with us. We want to hear from you. I want to hear what God is doing in your life. I want to hear what you need Him to do in your life. I want to agree with you according to God's Word. Send us your prayer request, your praise reports. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to take just a minute and thank all the partners. Partners, thank you for all that you do, sowing faithfully into this ministry so that we can send this Word out all over the world for people to be set free. Not by what I'm saying, but by the truth in God's word that I am proclaiming as truth all over this all over this nation and all over this world. Glory to God. Thank you, partners. I pray Mark 10, 29, and 30 over you today. A hundredfold return on everything that you sow into God's kingdom. If you're not a partner, pray about becoming a partner. Pray about what God would have you to do today to sow into his kingdom. Glory to God. Go to our website. Get in touch with us. It's the-prodigalson.com. I want to take just a second 
Don't forget, share these podcasts on your social media. If you go to our website, there's links down there to all of our pages. Share them. Share them these, these podcasts on your social media so people can see that they can, they can have the Word of God free, free of charge, and be set free in their life today. Glory to God. Go to our website. It's the-prodigalson.com.